Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I'm coming to you live tonight from my stamp class. I hope you enjoy this new format for a few videos. I would love to show you how we made this gorgeous butterfly card with the Swallowtail stamp set and Aqua Painters and Stampin' Up! ink refills. So here we go. Okay, the next project for tonight is the butterfly and this is stamped with the Swallowtail stamp and it is a great big stamp. You will need the largest clear block if you're using the clear stamp or you can also get it in the wood mount, so either way. And I have embossed it, I should say I stamped it with the Versamark and then I embossed it with the black embossing powder. And I don't know if you remember years ago we did the rose and we did the watercolor float kind of on it. That's like my biggest YouTube hit. I think I have over 50,000 views on that one. And so I know people like the watercolor and I thought let's do it with the butterfly. You'll notice that the whole butterfly does not fit on the card, but that's okay. It's kind of artsy to have it partly off, so we'll go with that. <laughs> so I am using an aqua painter. It's filled with water, and to start you want to squeeze it and just sort of rub off the tip onto either a paper towel or an old rag or something just to get the water flowing. And then on this lid I have squeezed some of the reinkers. I have Tangerine Tango, Cajun Craze, Daffodil Delight, and So Saffron, and I just have little puddles of that. But before I add color to this, I just want to wash over this butterfly. Just make sure you have enough water kind of coming to the tip of your aqua painter. And I'm going to wash over the entire butterfly because this is kind of a watercolor float technique as opposed to painting with the aqua painters. And what kind so, of cardstock did you use? Oh, I, thank you. I used the shimmery white. Okay. It is a great option to watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want the yellowness and the texturedness of the watercolor paper for this card, so the shimmery white is a great option for that. Thank you. And then all you do is tap the tip of your aqua painter into one of the colors and then you're barely touching it to the card because it's just being sucked up by the water that's already there. If I were to do this onto a dry card, I'd get a very dark spot and then as I move over, it would be almost no color. So this way it distributes the color quite evenly. And I just sort of went around and decided anywhere that I thought I might want it yellow because I had <coughs> so much pigment on my brush tip. And when you're done with that color, if you don't want to kind of mix your colors, then you just squeeze onto the paper towel and you squeeze the, the yellow off of the tip. But really, you could mix and match, and it doesn't really matter. You could just pick up the next color and keep going. And see how that just bleeds right into the wet area there. And so there we have some orange. And if you want to kind of let your colors mix and bleed, which I didn't do on the sample, but let's just see how this goes. If you just touch oh, a little bit to it, like that. wow. it's that's going to seep in and bleed and it's going to blend the oh, colors. That's really so that's cool. a really pretty technique as well. And then let's just go pick up some of the Cajun craze and just do a little bit darker right here. And I don't know, in my world, butterflies are symmetrical on the two sides, mm -hmm. and I know they probably don't have to be, but that's just my in-the-box world that I live in. Okay, And you can just color anywhere you'd like and make any section any color. It, it really, there's no rules on this one. And you just keep adding your colors. That's really bright. It is. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. And it, it actually dried pretty bright mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it'll kind of dry to a dull, but I think it's partly because of the shimmery white paper. Okay. okay, then what I did was, you know, I was anxious. I wanted to build this into a card and it was still wet. So I wiped off the tip of my aqua painter and then you just touch it and what you're doing is just soaking the water back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you see the difference mm -hmm. between the two mm -hmm. sides there? And I wouldn't go to a completely different color. I would stick with all the dark colors at once and then the light colors. But you just tap it back off in between and it'll suck up the water so that you can hurry up and make your card. I mean, not that you have to hurry, I'm just saying. 
You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, that made sense, huh? Okay, so then that's how I got it to dry quicker so that I could make it into a card. And then I just mounted it on the Tangerine Tango. And the Happy Birthday is from one of those new 25-year sets that I was showing you earlier. And I stamped twice onto the Whisper White, punched one of them out with an oval, and cut the birthday banner out with the scissors so that I could layer them and give a little interest and more than one color. Mm -hmm.